Hello everyone, my name is Dragothian. Today we're going to be talking about a new patch that just jumped into the game, or it's about to jump into the game on July 25th. Season of Conquest Crystal Tech Changes. We're always looking and asking for Crystal Tech Changes. Is this going to be one that's going to be really good? Really bad? Or somewhere in the middle? Let's jump in. All right, so as I stated, it's going to be coming out on July 25th. Welcome back, everybody. Let's jump into the patch notes. I feel like it's kind of a mixed bag, but we're going to talk about it really quickly. Number one, the description for the Season of Conquest Crystal Technology Plunder, which is the one that gives you increased crystals whenever you defeat um, Kahar, your Kahar crystals, uh, is now going to be increasing crystals uh, earned by defeating barbarian patrols and forts in Lost Kingdom, which to me, assuming that they jump the Kahar whistles to 60 automatically, that's pretty good. Um, it's still pretty good either way, but I think it would be the best type of upgrade if you get the full tech that you would normally have gotten with Plunder, getting 60,000 crystals per Kahar whistle instead of the 30, and also increasing the Barbarian and Barbarian Fort crystals that you receive. This is huge for free to play. This is huge for low spenders. As long as you're active, this will help you get max tech. I mean, this is really what people needed to get there without having to blow through hundreds of thousands of action points to get to what they need. And again, you can't sustain hundreds of thousands of action points as a free to play or low spending player season after season after season. So with this, hopefully this will reduce your AP cost to get max tech or at least tech enough to where you can do your damage. And, and get the stuff that you need out of the KBK shop, etc. right? So I'm hoping that's going to be out the way that it reads, but we'll see how it goes in the game. I'm hoping that you're going to get those uh, those Kahar whistles at 60k instead of the base amount. But this is still going to be really good. Defeating Barbarian Patrols and Forts gives you increased crystals. Now, how much that is, we'll see. If it's 100% boost after you've maxed that skill out, that's really good. That's kind of what... the the Kahar Whistle uh, tech was. So if it's 100% boost for barbs and forts as well, that's really good. Number two, the Crystal Tech First Aid has been removed. So you no longer get a heal after you defeat a Barbarian anymore. Okay. Um, it was kind of worthless, and it was kind of a dumb requirement for, um, <laughs> for reducing the cost of your Crystal Technology whenever you went to the Strategic Tech. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, new crystals, number three, new crystal technologies. So Karaku's gift increases the acquisition speed of crystals during the trial of Cal Kerouac event. This is curious. I'm not quite sure what this means. Acquisition speed of crystals. Does it speed up? Does it speed up the difficulty tiers or, or what? Cause you get, you get crystals every single Karaku, you kill each level of inside of uh, each level, each difficulty. You still get every single turn a, a set of crystals, and then you have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30 that give you the big chunk of crystals. I'm, I'm not sure. Let's see how that plays out. Um, Surprise Strike increases damage dealt to enemy garrisons, rallied armies by troops on the map during KBK. We're going to come back to that one because that one requires a little bit of unpacking. And I'm not quite sure how people are going to feel about that one. But number four, the unlock order for Crystal Technologies has been fine-tuned. Please take note of the change once it has come online. Thank you for the new subscribe, by the way. So here's the deal. Um, a lot of these things are very generic, uh, very generic statements. So it says, after the next version update, uh, we'll also be increasing the number of crystals dropped by Kahar the Hidden upon defeat. An all season of conquest story. So maybe that's the answer to number one. And it, it basically gives you the 60 K or maybe it's more, maybe it's more. And again, it seems like this whole patch is a hundred percent awesome. Like I, everything here seems really, really good, but we need to talk about surprise strike because this is a big deal. Uh, again, let me read surprise strike again, increases damage dealt to enemy garrisons, rallied armies. Okay. So forts, flags, passes, rallied armies on all of those things by troops on the map during Lost Kingdom. That's 
that's pretty substantial. That's a huge change. Um, and again, what, like I said before, these are all very generic statements. So there's no percentages that have, I don't know why they put, I don't know why they put out these patch notes. Where they're like, we're making these changes and you should be excited. And here comes July 25th, but we're not going to tell you what the changes exactly are. We're going to give you an idea of what they are. Um, you really should let us know. So again, if you're increasing the crystals earned from defeating barbs and forts, tell us by how much, let us know so we can plan. Um, you know, Karaku's gift, increasing the acquisition speed of crystals during the trial of Cal Kerouac event. I still don't fully know what that means. Like, because right now it's just an event that happens at certain periods on the Chronicle timeline, which I don't understand how you're going to affect the Chronicle timeline with crystal tech. It doesn't make sense. So this needs more explanation. Again, this here will be increasing the number of crystals dropped by Kahar. Okay, great. By how much? By how much? You're not going to have a tech for Kahar anymore. So just tell us how much um, you're going to get when you defeat a Kahar uh, whistle. I mean, how, how hard is that? But same thing happens for Surprise Strike. Increases damage dealt to enemy garrisons rallied armies by troops on the map during Lost Kingdom. This to me confirms, confirms that Lilith understands that it's a garrison meta right now. Um, what's really interesting though is that you know, we have these new ralliers out, Gilga, Henry, you know, Henry Boudica. Those are all kind of like the meta rally right now. And they're getting very positive, favorable results against, uh, say, a Xeno uh, YSS or a Xeno Flavius. But when you start worrying with Flavius Scipio, um, a lot of those rallies tend to go a little sideways. That being said, I mean, you, you can rally, you can swarm the rallies, you can swarm the garrisons. There's a big difference between those two. Swarming a rally, if you do it right, you're not going to take a single dead troop. But if you swarm a garrison, you're guaranteed to lose troops. So I don't know why they're giving a blanket damage bonus to both of these when really both of these activities produce different results for the swarmer. Um, and again, this kind of reads to me like, hey, we did a bunch of free-to-play stuff all around here that's really helpful for free-to-play to get uh, teched up and everything. Here's something for the whales. And But... I mean, it's usually whales that are rallying, whales that are garrisoning in these bigger KBKs, and whales that are swarming. Um, with all these increases to Crystal Tech, now maybe you know free to play and lower spending players can do some swarming without taking a massive you know hospital bill and or dead count. Um, but I I don't know, man. I don't I don't think this was necessary. Increases damage dealt to enemy garrisons, rallied armies by troops on the map during Lost Kingdom. I really don't think this was necessary. I mean, right now, you you can't really swarm Pakal Harrell without taking a big loss. You can't really swarm Attila Nevsky without taking a big loss. Is this going to make it to where you can swarm Pakal Harold and you can swarm Attila Nevsky and not take dead? Um, is it going to be that kind of damage increase? You can already down a, a rally from full to zero in like six seconds anyway, because there is no cap on the amount of people that you can swarm with on a rally. So to me, this was really focused on the garrisons and man, do you really want to make garrison? I mean, I guess it's, I guess it's to speed up the game, maybe like speed up KBK because I mean, there's times where obviously if you've got, like I said, in other streams that you've seen. Um, if you've got a flag and you've got like five or six cities around it, it's really difficult to, to rally and swarm that down. You need the field. Whereas with this change, depending on what the damage dealt modifier is, you could potentially not have the field rally something with an Attila Takeda or a Pakal Herald and then come in with maybe three whales and just swarm the damn flag down. And if it's the damage dealt is increased enough you're not going to be able to keep up with the reinforcements. So to me, this is this is something that's probably going to change the game for a negative, in my opinion. And they, it depends on what they make the damage dealt increase. But if it's like 5%, it's not really a big deal. It's it's very minimal impact. But if this is like a 20 or 50% increase to damage dealt, this is going to change the way that, that KBKs are fought. But this is a big change. This is a big change that I don't think anybody was at. Like, was anybody asking for this? Is this something that people were saying, hey, we need to be able to swarm garrisons and rallies 
and it doesn't need to hurt so bad. Well, that's the whole point. That's the whole point of a rally. Otherwise, everybody would just swarm everything, right? That's the whole point of a rally. If you want to stop a rally from happening, you come in here and you are going to take some some loss. You're going to take a full hospital. You're going to take some open field dead, something like that. Make it have an impact. If this is if this is as bad as I think it could be, you're going to basically see babas all over the place just curb stomping flags and forts. You could probably swarm a pass if it gets too bad, right? Like there's only three things, three marches that can hit a pass at one time. If, it, if this is bad enough, you could swarm a pass down. That's that's how crazy this could be. So, I mean, I don't know. We'll have to see how this plays out. But overall, overall, especially for the majority of the players in this game, you're going to be happy, I think. The, the crystal changes look very good, especially for low spender and free-to-play players. But again, the key here for any of it is activity. If you are not active in your account in KBK, you're not going to benefit from a lot of this stuff. Lock order for crystal technologies has been fine-tuned. Who knows what that means? Hopefully that's a positive thing for everybody and especially for free-to-play and low-spending players. But who knows what that's going to mean? I would love to see you know, a breakdown of what that's going to look like, but we'll see that, I guess, in, on the 25th. We'll see that on the 25th. But as it sits right now, uh, this is an okay patch. I think it could have been worse. It could have definitely been better, though. And there's still some questions regarding surprise strike. There's still questions regarding the increase in the, the crystal uh, income from barbs and forts versus what you were getting from Kahar whistles. How much more do you get from Kahar whistles now that this new, after the new next version update, which again is not going to be this patch, it's going to be the next version update. We're currently working on getting all the full stuff for the Tales of Summer. Uh, event patch 1059 so again whenever we get 1.0.60 we're going to go ahead and get the increase to the kahar whistle crystal drop as well so we're gonna have to wait for a few things inside of this but some of that stuff looks good again really looking to see what surprise strike has in store for us as uh, a player base because this could be i just i don't see the benefit <laughs> i don't see the benefit like it could only be bad Adding 5% does what? Does it help anybody? Does it improve anything in the game? Um, but if if it's worse than that, if it's more than that, it could potentially damage no upside, full of downside possibility here. All right, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time in game. Cheers, have a good one.